Hello, dear students. Welcome back to my class. I'm Dr. Indraini Katti, and this is a financial management subject and module five that deals with working capital management. So in this video, I'm going to cover the working capital management theoretical aspect in brief. Okay. So after this class, I'm going to deal with the problems of working capital management, which are very important from examination point of view, as well as knowledge point of view. Okay. So here, you know, uh, when you listen to the word capital, that is very much required in the company. But there are two needs. One is long-term need. Another one is short-term need. Okay. So based on that, capital is also categorized into two parts. So capital is required for a business and it can be classified under two main categories. One is called as fixed capital. The other one is called as working capital. Okay. And this this chapter, this module deals with working capital, but we should understand what is fixed capital and then we, I will move on to the working capital concept, okay? Every business needs funds for two purposes, for its establishment and to carry out its day-to-day -day operations, okay? So for its establishment, it means for long-term purpose, okay? To establish, we require fixed assets. That's why long-term funds are required to create production facilities through purchase of fixed assets such as plant and machinery, land and building, furniture and fixtures, etc. As all of you know, what are the fixed assets which are very much important for production purpose, okay? So, investment in these assets represent that part of firm's capital which is blocked up permanently on a permanent basis, okay? Or fixed basis and it, this itself is called as fixed capital or long-term capital, okay? It means long-term capital or fixed capital is utilized, is used for acquisition of fixed assets, okay? This you will have to uh, make sure of that, okay? What is fixed capital? It is the amount of capital which is used to acquire fixed assets, that is purchase fixed assets, okay? And this amount is blocked up in fixed assets. As all of you know that fixed assets are not for resale purpose. These are permanently there in the company for its own purpose, right? It will use, company will use it for the production purpose, okay? So next one, let's move on to the concept working capital. What is working capital? It is a short-term capital as you know, right? Funds are also required for short-term purpose for the purchase of what do you do for the daily basis, on a daily basis, what do you do? The companies have to purchase the raw materials. The companies have to make the payment of wages, salaries, etc., and other day-to-day -day expenses also it has to meet. So it means what? A short-term capital or a working capital is that amount of capital which is used to meet the day-to-day -day expenses or day-to-day -day financial requirements, okay? So these, these funds are known as working capital. Hence, it is also known as revolving or circulating or short-term capital, okay? Funds thus invested in current assets keep revolving fast and are being constantly converted into cash and this cash flows, cash flows out again in exchange for other current assets, okay? It means what? The cash form, again, it needs to be converted into cash by investing in the fixed, uh, sorry, in the current assets that Cash is used to buy the raw material and raw materials are to be converted into finished goods. Finished goods, again, those are to be sold, right? If these are sold on the credit basis, debtors arise and on the debtors, bills are drawn, bills receivable arise, right? Then bills receivable again is converted into cash. So that cycle itself is known as operating cycle. It means working capital, the assets change the form of cash into the other kind of current assets, again, it will be converted into cash. So that's why working capital in simple words, what we can understand working capital is, it is the capital which is required to meet the day-to-day -day expenditure on a daily basis, whatever the company incurs the expenditures for that, it has to keep some amount. That amount itself is called as working capital, okay? So let's deal with the meaning and definitions okay working capital in simple terms you can make a note of all this okay 
Working capital refers to that part of firm's capital which is required for financing short-term or current assets such as cash, inventories, debtors, and marketable securities. So these are all short-term assets, though we call these as current assets. Okay. So definition, according to Shubhan, working capital is the amount of funds necessary to cover the cost of operating an enterprise. Okay. So to operate an enterprise, we require short-term funds. Okay. So that short-term fund itself is known as working capital. And in the words of Justin Burke, circulating capital means current assets of a company that are changed in the ordinary course of business from one form to another. Okay. So circulating capital means current assets of a company that are changed in the ordinary course of business. So while performing the operations of the organization, the one current asset changes its form to other current asset from one form to another. For example, you know, here is an example in the definition itself from cash to inventories, okay, from inventories to receivables, from receivables to cash. So this is what one current asset changes its form to another current asset, okay? So this is in the words of Justin Berg. Circulating capital means current assets of a company that are changed in an ordinary course of business from one form to another, okay? As for example, from cash to inventories, inventories to receivables and receivables into cash. So this is what is working capital, okay? Let's move on to the concepts. So there are, as per the concepts, we can say that the classification of current assets is made into two parts. One is based on the balance sheet concept. The other one is operating cycle or circulating flow concept. Okay. As per the balance sheet concept, we again categorize the working capital into two concepts. That is gross working capital. The other one is called as net working capital. So what is this gross working capital? and net working capital. If we make use of the simple word that is working capital, what does it, whether it is gross or net, okay? The question comes into mind. So when it is only working capital, it is nothing but working capital. That working capital is net to working capital only, okay? Right? Unless it is mentioned as gross, all working capital is net working capital, okay? Now, you know, gross working capital means what? Gross working capital is equivalent to the total of current assets, right? And what is net? Something is deducted from the current assets. What is that something? Current assets minus current liabilities, okay? As all of you know, all receivables are called as current assets. All payables, short-term payables are called as current liabilities. So these are current assets, short-term current assets. These are short-term current liabilities. How much the amount is going to be received is going to be received by the organization and how much the amount is going to be paid, okay? It is to be paid, that is payables, okay? So from receivables, payables are to be deducted, okay? Total current assets minus total current liabilities, we get the concept called net working capital. The formula this is, net working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Keep this in your mind and while solving the problem, the same concept we will have to uh, uh, tell, right? We will have to, again, uh, memorize what are all the current assets and write down all the current assets along with the amount, make the total. Total current assets we will find in that liabilities we will have to deduct, okay? Write all the current liabilities, then make the total of current liabilities which is going to be deducted from current assets. Clear? Then we will derive the net working capital, okay? And the other concept, which is called as operating cycle. So as just now I told, what is that operating cycle? Cash is converted into other current assets form. Cash into inventories, okay? Inventory is again of three types. What is that? Raw material, work in process, and third one is finished goods. Stock of raw material, stock of work in process, and stock of finished goods. And that finished goods stock is going to be sold. And if the sales are made on the credit basis, debtors arise, okay? Cash is converted into inventories. Inventory is converted into debtors. Debtors are converted into bills receivables. And bills receivable are again converted into cash. 
when bills are discounted with the bank at that time, these are converted into cash. So that itself is known as the time taken to convert cash again into cash is known as operating cycle. Okay. So that's why operating cycle is a period which is taken by an organization to convert the cash again into cash. So whatever the period it takes, that is known as operating cycle period. Okay. So cash, then inventories, then debtors, then receivables again into cash likewise. So that's why it is also called a circular flow concept. Okay. So these are the two main concepts wherein you are having problems on networking capital ascertain what is the amount required as a networking capital, okay? So, or else ascertain what is a working capital required. The amount of working capital required, you need to calculate how, why, you know, why do we calculate the required amount of working capital for an organization is we cannot randomly say 10 lakh is more than enough, 5 lakh is enough, or 20 lakhs we require, or 18 lakhs we require. So, what is that amount? How do we ascertain that amount of working capital for an organization is using the equation working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. What are the total receivables? Make the sum of all that. That is stock value and debtors value and other current assets values, cash, right? So all these are to be made total. Total current assets we derive in that total current liabilities we have to deduct. We derive the networking capital. Then we can say that this is the amount which is required to an organization to keep it as working capital to run its, uh, to meet its day-to-day -day expenditures, right? So whatever the operations, day-to-day -day operations are there, to carry on all those day-to-day -day operations, the company requires certain sum of money. That money is short-term amount, okay? So that we will, I will begin the problems in the next class, okay? So here I conclude. If you have any kind of uh, doubts in this, feel free to ask. And uh, if you have any questions also, feel free to ask about this concept. Here I conclude the video. And in my next class, I'm going to cover the problems on working capital. And do remember that, go to my play store, right? Sorry, uh, playlist of uh, YouTube, my playlist. So there you will find time value of money. So that is mathematics of finance, okay? It is renamed, the chapter is renamed, the module is renamed as mathematics of finance. So there you will find three videos on the calculation of time value, right? Present value, how to calculate present value, how to calculate future value, okay? So that all I have taught with the examples also, how to calculate the interest and all, right? So you do go through those uh, videos because that is a second module, right? Already I have uploaded and go through all those, learn for second module, that is more than enough for your examination also. And for the final module, that is fifth module, this is the video that I'm going to do one more or two more problems I will solve with that, okay? So thank you one and all. Wish you all the very best in learning.